What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a couple things. We're going to find out whether one of the fog lights is faulty or whether it's my wiring. We're also going to install those quick releases that I didn't get to install last time. I also might have new sites or extensions coming in the mail today, so we're going to see if we can put those on as well. But yeah, let's get right into the video. So as we can see, right, the driver's side light is working fine, but fortunately this one, not on. And I already tried to disconnect the connector. I kind of rocked around the wiring and just didn't seem to want to turn on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap this light over there and see if it works. And that way I'll probably determine whether it's my wiring or not. And if it doesn't work, uh, I can definitely get a replacement from CV Speed. They actually reached out to me on my last video saying that, you know, there wasn't any issues with these fog lights yet, but if I had one, I can send it back and they'll give me a replacement so I'm not too worried about anything but we're just gonna confirm whether it's the light or my wiring I don't really think it's my wiring cuz I don't know it's been working for a while so figured why would it suddenly stop working but you never know right yeah I love these lights I mean when they worked for about a day super bright and they're super it's just the beam patterns really nice and it's a nice color fortunately the one stopped working so we're gonna find out today whether we can fix that or not. So the time I filmed this clip, I don't have the side script yet, but what I ended up doing was ordering some extensions for an Evo 8. So I read online that the Evo 8 side skirts, they're 75 inches long, which is just about how long these sides are in the car. So I figured, you know, it'll probably work, right? So we'll see how that goes. But I think now I'm gonna jack the car up, um, go under the car and disconnect the fog lights and all that. Then I can also work with putting on the quick releases too. So now I'm kind of nervous drilling into my bumper, especially on the side. You can only do it once really, so. So the goal of the quick releases is to get rid of this bumper gap. See, every time I drive or rather hit a bump too hard or scrape the lip, this bracket ends up popping out. Definitely because I've rolled the fender and kind of reshapes the lines a bit. So this won't really want to sit flush anymore. But with these quick latch buttons, um, I can get it to sit nicely and I can also remove my bumper a lot easier. So we gotta take off the bezel quick. Disconnect the fog light. We gotta take off all the stuff underneath this. Bolts removed, just gotta take off the zip tie. Put this here so that, you know, it sits a lot more stable. But, uh, here it is. Oh crap, whoops. I mean to drop it, but, uh, disconnect it here. that off. Now let's see if this will work on the other side. All right, so here's the working fog light. I'm gonna see if I can use this plug here. So I got it plugged in. Let's see if it turns on. If it turns on, that means my wiring's fine. That looks like my wiring is fine. So now let's see if it's this light. In general, if this doesn't work, then it's just faulty and I gotta get a replacement. So I'm gonna connect this. I'm not sure the polarity. Moment of truth. Oh, nothing there. Let's see if it's the wrong polarity. And a nothing. So it looks like this light is defective. Not sure how, not sure why. I mean, it worked for a day and then kind of crapped down on itself. But I mean, I guess things happen. So I'm going to contact CB Speed, see if they can get me a replacement sent out. So here's the really quick release. If I were to put it there, it would sit right here, which honestly, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, it's still kind of, you know, three quarters from this line. It's not bad if I put it there, honestly. I mean, down here, it's kind of just nitpicking it, honestly, but if I put it right there, I think it wouldn't look that bad. All right, so here's what I'm getting at. So I took the bumper bracket off. So there is a hole right here for where that tab used to be. Um, what I'm gonna do is actually stick the stud, and have it stick out of here, and that should be perfect. I don't want to drill anything. I think that's the whole point of this. From here, looks like we have the stud itself. Then you get two washers. You also get two nuts with it. So with that, this kind of goes 
this has to stick out this side. And then the nut threads in first. And I would just put it all the way over. And then this washer go out here. And then you would stick it through here. And this is what holds it in. And you can take the other side and then thread in the other side. So very easy to install this stud. Uh, I'm just gonna do that real quick. I wish I could give you guys a better angle, but that's all I got right now. So I'm gonna stick this through here. It's easier if you don't have your fender liners on like I do. The other side is gonna be a little more annoying, but. Uh, you're not supposed to tighten this all the way yet because you're gonna have to adjust how far it comes out or goes in, um, just so you can get a perfect fit. But the key here is to line it up nicely. I'm not sure how far this needs to stick out. I'm assuming it has to be just flush with this fender. But, because I mean, you're gonna wanna get a rough, rough estimate. Yeah, honestly, that should do it right there. Um, I just slid this all the way down. Maybe it's easier for me to get a base. I'm gonna slide it all the way down, down to the bottommost corner, and that's where I'm gonna mark it, because I think that'll look best. So that's probably gonna sit right about there, which honestly is actually pretty good. Uh, definitely where I wanted it in the first place. So what I'm gonna do is get this as, you know, tight, or not tight, but as, you know, close to where I want it as possible. Put some like toothpaste or grease on there, and then mark my hole you know, after I get to where I want it. And press it so that I get a nice marking behind there, drill a pilot hole, and then I'll take some spade bits uh, I got 11 16 and 3 quarters. I'm not sure which the best size, but I'll just drill the hole out here. And then all you do is you thread in this part. You got a lock nut here. I mean, it's a pretty easy mechanism to understand. So, so I'm just gonna put a I'm just gonna put anti seize on it. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything. And I'm gonna try my best to line it up so that you know, this is flush with the headlight. And then just fold it over like this. Get it to touch. That looks pretty good up there, honestly. Um, it's really as flush as I can with this fender. Enough so I can mark a pilot hole. So that was enough. Pretty flush. Alright, rest on it. Alright, I made a mark, so we should be good there. I'm gonna take the bumper off. Here's what I was talking about earlier about the bolt placement and washer. So, that's what you got. You got this stud here, which is what goes into your fender. You got this washer. It goes out here. So now, from my finger is the fender. This is where it's going to sit. On the other side, you're also going to get the other washer up against there. And then, of course, the nut. And pretty much you tighten these together so that it locks into that part of the bumper or that part of the fender and then it should lock in place because when you take off your bumper bracket I'll give you guys a quick look here it's going to be a hole where those tabs used to be at of course you can only really see it here but that's where you're going to put this stud through so i'm not sure if this applies to all cars um, i'm sure every bumper bracket's different but this is just how it works on mine it just conveniently has a good placement by default so that's how you put it on and then pretty much you measure it you mark the pilot hole drill it get a larger diameter bit like a spade bit or something and then you can go ahead and drill it on the outside and you lock on the button and that's really it as you can see i got those marks right there for each side so i'm just going to take a small drill bit Drill it through, then I'm going to put the bumper back on to line it up and see and make sure you know that's where I want it to be. Then I can go ahead and send it with a bigger bit and at that point there's really no going back so hopefully everything's okay. So here I have an 11 16 spade bit and I think this should be fine. It does you know match pretty close with that. Um, so. Yeah, I'm gonna see if 11 16 is enough. If not, I do have a three quarters one. Well, I think 11 16 should be okay. So we'll see. All 
All right, there's one. All right, so I got both holes drilled now. Just gonna put the bumper back on and make sure it lines up with those holes. I have no doubt that it won't, but you never know, right? So, put back. Damn it. Did this right? I see it. I see it peeking through there, so should be good. It's right on the money too, so I guess I'll have to drill into the side now. All right, check the other side too. Looks like it's good as well. So I'm just coming back off, and we're just gonna drill right into that hole there. Wow, that's scary. All right, so I kind of screwed up drill on the other side. I mean, I got the latch on, don't worry, but uh, it's in the smoothest hole. I'm gonna try it again over here. Um, if it doesn't work, then I don't know, but three-fourths is probably the way to go because lm 16s are a little too tight. I actually used the Dremel to kind of grind out the rest of the way, but. cleaner hole here for sure. I mean all this stuff you won't gonna see you're not gonna see under the bumper anyway so or under the quick latch but so put on the quick latch you gotta do let's just go in let's get all these little shaving yeah, three fourths is the way so you just push it tighten this ring on the back that's really it I mean easy install. So yeah, I'm gonna go tighten this ring all the way back and then we're gonna put on the bumper and see how we did. Of course I'm not sure if the stud is lined up perfectly but definitely clipped in so the side's good. So they work. I got it on. Of course, there's still a gap because I didn't adjust the thread all the way, but as you guys can see, clipped on. So, this is going to clip on there, press to release it. There we go. See, it's pretty solid. Press to release it. So, I'm going to tighten this thread back here, um, get it to where I want it. I think I just have to push it in more so that this sits more inwards and then should be good. So that's how you install quick latches. Pretty easy. Um, just be really careful drilling with the spade bit. Get it centered and whatnot and should be good. So check this out. I adjusted the stud. This is about where I have it as best I can. I did wish I tightened this up more, but as you guys can see, there's no more, it's not poking out anymore. So it definitely looks a lot better. Just gotta tighten it all the way. Yeah, I think this is it guys. Pretty easy to do. Looks clean as well. It's, you know, it's black, can't really notice it with the dark gray, so that's cool too. So here's the finished result then. I actually ended up shifting it a little more. Yeah, I think I got it pretty good uh, in terms of the bumper gap, so very happy with the install. Here's the other side as well. I feel like just such a small detail makes a huge difference, uh, like bumper gap and whatnot. Pretty good, I mean, not perfect, but check it out. I really hope the uh, side skirts come today. I uh, really would like to get all of that kind of done with. Um, but if not, then I'll always do it another day. All right, so the side skirts ended up not coming in time, but check it out. I just love how this looks. Now that the car's on the ground, there's no bumper gap. This looks so much better. Whew, that's amazing how much that can make a difference. And you didn't really notice it, you know, the, uh, the quick latch. If I ever need to take off the bumper for any reason, of course there are clips, you know, up there, but you know, if I needed to, all you gotta do, press, and it's off, and then reinstall. Put it back, there you go. See, after I recorded that last clip, the um, FedEx driver showed up with the new side skirts. 
So I'm actually just gonna unbox these quick. I'm gonna see how they kind of pair up against the side here. Uh, I'll probably install it tomorrow though. All right, so check these out. I did not know these are actually super, super rigid, which is sick. Um, they also kind of painted this gloss black. I mean, it's not the best job. I'll definitely repaint them, but check it out guys. So I just ended up getting just a straight design. I think it'll look a lot better with the new straight pieces. Let's see. Oh yeah, perfect fit, perfectly 75 inches. It's gonna look sick, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it's probably gonna stick out. Well, these might stick out pretty decent too. Um, probably as far as how much that is sticking out. That's sick. Uh, super hype for this. So, tomorrow when I got some more time, I'm gonna put these on the car. Wow, I did not know they were gonna come in this kind of material, which is really cool. It's like a, it's plastic, of course, but super rigid. Hopefully, you know, it doesn't crack easy or anything, because I'm gonna scrape these a lot, but... Wow, very nice. So again, these are Evo 8 side skirts extensions, so they measure 75 inches, which is the same as my car. It also means it's the same as the WRX hatchback as well, so that's sick. Um, yeah, I know it's not a good view right now, but when I put these on, ooh, it's gonna be crazy. Just to give you guys an idea of the finish, it's not sure, I mean, I don't think it's just raw plastic, but it's not bad, honestly. I mean, clean it up a little bit and just throw it on. I'm not to really worry about painting it yet. Um, so I'm gonna quick mock this up here. Let's see where it's gonna sit. I love that this is the exact length of the side screw. It's pretty amazing, honestly. Probably about right here is good. Yeah, it has a, it's still sticking out a decent amount. I just don't want that little divot to show on the outside. That's all. So, wherever that mark ends is where I'll drill. So I got two screws in there, but this is just a general idea of how much it's gonna stick out. So you know, it's subtle. It's definitely noticeable though, no, no doubt. It's just, it's pretty much in line where I want it to be. Maybe in the future I'll find a winglet for that rear side, or maybe actually the front side. Here it is all mounted up. Looks pretty cool. Very, you know, it's nice and simple, nothing too complicated. You know, it sticks out a reasonable amount, something crazy. I definitely make the car look lower though. I mean, it kind of adds about three quarters of an inch. Might add some reinforcement screw back here or something, because I feel like this might get kind of flimsy if I don't. But anyway, this side's on the car. Uh, I'm just not gonna really film the other side because it's the same thing as this. So uh, I'll see if I can go out and get some, you know, full shots of the car if it all installed. All right, so I got both the sides on now. So you guys saw that earlier, but I got the passenger side on now as well. Definitely is gonna be a little bit more of a pain to throw up in the air um, just because of the how low the cert sits and how it's kind of designed. It's really hard to see the pinch well. It's all right guys, that's what the low life entails. But I mean, there's still plenty of room for a jack in there. Just gotta drive on the brakes. Yeah, that's the install. I'm gonna go out and take some quick shots of it and you guys can see how it looks on the car. Which path will you choose? Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure you guys stay safe during this whole COVID-19 situation. Follow me on Instagram at will.kgfx. And Katana Style, we will be having white and black decals uh, ready for sale sometime here soon. 
Uh, hopefully, if everything going on, I can still fulfill orders, you know, and all that, ship them out. But uh, I'll be announcing officially when I will release our web store and everything's all ready. So, so yeah, feel free to give Katana Style a follow. Uh, it's at Katana.Style on Instagram. And also, our web store is www.katanastyle.com. So, stay tuned for that. I'm definitely very excited for that release to come. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.